Hello, in this video we'll be covering the sort transformation as found in the transformation section of the toolbox here. The sort transformation is a record set transformation uh, that sorts data based on a specific field or fields. Uh, for example, in this case I have a data set that looks like this and I want to sort by two currency code. I can make use of the sort transformation to end up with a data set that is now sorted by this field. To use the sort transformation, simply go to the toolbox and drag and drop onto the diagram. Here you'll be presented with a empty sort transformation with no layout. Uh, all right transformations require a layout, so I'm going to use the auto layout in this case to build it. Now the next thing is to configure the properties for the sort, and the very first screen is the layout. Uh, here you'll notice that you can have a flat layout or you can have a hierarchical layout by uh, manipulating the uh, options here with the collection and reference objects. The next screen are the sort specific options including most importantly the field and the sort order. So since I want to sort my by two currency code I'm going to go ahead and choose the that field from the list uh, in the drop down. Uh, to the right of that is the option of whether I want the, uh, the data sorted ascending or descending. Choose ascending for to go from uh, A towards Z uh, and descending to do the opposite. So in this case I'm going to leave it as ascending here. Click OK and now preview my data. And here you can see that I've now sorted, as I've shown you before, uh, the, the, this record set. So say for example though that you want to do multi-level sorting. So not only do I want to sort by two currency code as I've done here, but I also want to have the currency rate date uh, sorted as well. Here you can see that they are not sorted, they're just in some random order. Uh, so if I want to have the most recent date up at the top here and, and go backwards in time, uh, I can do that by going to the properties and selecting the second sort order. So in this case I'm going to click on the drop down and choose currency rate date. Uh, at this time though I want to go the other way. I want the most recent date uh, going towards uh, the least recent date. So go click OK and now if I preview the data you can see that I have have my original sorting uh, still in place but now the record is also sorted by uh, or the second sorted by currency rate date, as you see here. The other options we have, uh, actually here, the other options we have are uh, treat null as lowest value, case sensitive, and return distinct values only. Uh, case sensitivity is used in quite a few of the transformations and basically just tell Enterprise uh, what constitutes uh, an, an identical field value. So for example if you have lowercase abc uh, it is the same as uppercase abc to the sort transformation unless you have the case sensitive selected. Uh, treat null as lowest value is used to indicate to Enterprise uh, where uh, values that have no no value in them, basically fields with no value in them that you're sorting by, uh, which end of the spectrum they should show up on. So for example my two currency code, if I did not have a value in them and I have this option check, they will show up uh, at the top of the sort. Whereas if I have this unchecked, they will show up at the bottom of the sort. Uh, the last option here, return distinct values only, is used as a shortcut to uh, get rid of values that you end up with with duplicate records. So for example, if I preview the data here at this section, you can see that I have several records here uh, after the sort that are identical. So one, two, three, four records that are pretty much identical. I can use the return distinct values only option to get rid of these superfluous records. So now if I preview the data, you can see I end up with only one record. The last uh, thing to note about the sort is how it affects uh, other transformations. So if you remember, if you uh, the distinct and the join and other transformations require sorting. So for example, if I click on the options of distinct, we have the option to uh, incoming data is ordered by key fields. 
and likewise for a join we have the option of to sort uh, inputs. So you'll want to keep that in mind when you're using a sort, how that affects your subsequent transformations. So in this case, if I have a distinct that requires sorted data, I don't need to do the in-place sort. Same with a join. Uh, I can go ahead and check or uncheck the option, uh, depending on the option in the transformation, uh, and rely on the previous sorting I've done uh, with the sort transformation. So this will actually save uh, and improve performance if you have uh, transformations that require sorting. So you don't need to do a sort twice. Uh, and that concludes the help on sort.